Aloha from Oahu. We are pastors Keith and Vicki Winterode with Monkey Pod Tree Ministries. And it's March 3rd. It's 548 in the evening and 77 degrees. And it's a Sunday and Keith has a word for you. Aloha everybody. Let's take a look in John chapter 16. I think we're going to look at verse 12 and 13 out of the Passion Translation. This is Jesus talking. There is so much more I would like to say to you, but it's more than you can grasp at this moment. But when the truth-giving spirit comes, he will unveil the reality of every truth within you. He won't speak his own message, but only what he hears from the Father, and he will reveal prophetically to you what is to come. And so as I'm reading this today, and praying about it and thinking about it. And, um, you know, there's a difference between the disciples, the apostles that Jesus was talking to and us. Namely, we're born again, they were not. We have the Spirit of Christ in us. We have the Holy Spirit in us. They did not, not yet. And so they weren't able to handle, they weren't able to grasp the things of the Spirit that Jesus wanted to share with them. But once we received the Holy Spirit, once we were born again, anybody that has read the Bible before they were born again and experienced the frustration of not understanding what they could, what they were reading, and then they got born again, and they're reading the Bible, and then it's like the light turned on because the Holy Spirit is our teacher. God bless you. That is really true. That did happen for me. I was born again at age 16 and baptized in the Holy Spirit the same day. And I had loved reading my Bible before that. I'd been given my first Bible when I was nine and I, I read it practically daily. But after I was born again and filled with the Holy Spirit and I opened up the word, it was like a veil had been removed and it was like I understood what I was reading. And one of the first verses I read was, the Holy Spirit is your teacher. And so as I would read my Bible, I had a journal that I would write in and I'd ask the Holy Spirit to teach me. And while I read the word, I'd get a revelation and the Holy Spirit would talk to me and teach me things and I'd write it down. And I, I just feel so blessed that I had that training from God from the very beginning because it has really benefited me. Many of the things I believe as truth wasn't taught to me by, by humans at church or, or church doctrine. It was taught to me by the Holy Spirit and it has really been beneficial for my life. Well, God bless you and have a beautiful Sunday evening. Aloha. Aloha.